Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video we're going to be talking about getting back on track. So maybe you have been slipping up on your diet before or you are just starting a diet or like me, you went on vacation and on vacation I eat as healthy as I can but it's vacation I really believe in, you know, taking cheats and enjoying your vacation. I had, you know, margaritas, I had Coronas, but I also had like chicken salads and fries and just all sorts of stuff. You know, it was vacation. I don't get to see my family a lot. They live on the East Coast. I live on the West Coast. So they came here and we drove to Laguna Beach and we spent Easter break there. So it was a nice vacation. But like I said, like I kind of went off my diet a little bit. Um, and that's kind of what I do on vacations. I do try to work out. I do try to go on long walks and um, we did yoga one day. So we were trying to like stay active and we did cook at home some of the days too. But it's vacation, you know, you're gonna go off your diet. So I actually got back last night. So I thought that I would show you what day one looks like for me, getting back on track and cooking really good meals. I, I think that one of the most important things is if you were just used to eating bad, and now you're you know, gonna start a new healthy lifestyle or you wanna get back into the swing of things like me, then you wanna make things that are good. You wanna make things that like feel nice and hearty. So I actually started last night by going to the grocery store. Trust me, it was the last thing I felt like doing, but you know, getting home from vacation, the last thing you wanna do is go, go to the grocery store. You just wanna to go to sleep the minute you get home. But I did go because I know that if you don't do it, then the next day you're going to be eating quick things like fast food. So I just try to pick up things that were super easy for me to cook and you know, like tuna and chicken and potatoes. Dancing through the street. Good morning, everyone. First things first, coffee. So after my morning coffee, I went on a nice long walk and that was my workout for the day. Get it over with in the morning, that way you don't even have to think about it. Okay, so these are the ingredients I'm going to be using for my protein pancakes. So I'm going to be using butter on the pan. You can also use coconut oil. I'm going to be using two eggs. If you only have one, one egg will also work. I'm going to be using one scoop of protein powder, one banana, and almond milk. If you don't have almond milk, you can also use water. So you first want to start with butter all over the pan. Protein pancakes are not like regular pancakes. They're much thinner and a little harder to work with. That's why my boyfriend is going to be making them. <laughs> You'll see in a second. By the way, the 12.09 time on my stove, that's wrong. This was like 8 in the morning. We've tried to fix that timer thing for so long now and it just won't. It just keeps going back to that time, which is really weird. Okay, so <laughs> anyways, he pours it in the center and you have to be very gentle with it. He likes to use that like cake thing instead of a spatula and then when he actually flips it, he uses a spatula. But it's really all about trial and error, you know, try it out at home and see what works for you. Like I say, they're much thinner than regular pancake mix. And then I like to add strawberries and honey on top and this is so good. This is such a yummy lunch and it's so easy. It doesn't really take a lot of prep time and it's great on a day that you're jumping back into things and it's tuna with avocado chunks and some cheese on top. I also added a little avocado creamy dressing on top. It does have a spicy taste. It wasn't like super avocado you know, avocado with avocado dressing on top. What am I, some avocado crazy person? But it was really good. Um, and then while I was editing this video, I wanted a snack and I found this at the grocery store and I really liked it. it reminds me of a Cliff Bar. So now it's time for dinner and you wanna preheat your oven to 400. Yes, I am obsessed with sweet potatoes right now. I feel like I show them in every video, but I'm obsessed. 
You want to line a pan with olive oil and add your sweet potato wedges on top with any of your seasonings you like. I use rosemary with garlic salt and pepper. And then you want to get out your chicken breast and you want to add on your favorite seasoning. Mine is garlic salt, obviously. <laughs> I use this in every video. And then you want to flip them and add garlic salt on the other side. So whatever seasoning you use, make sure to season both sides. Then you want to put the chicken breast on a pan with olive oil and add a little ranch dressing on each piece and a little cheese. I think I only used three cheese slices and then I just kind of broke them in half. Put them in the oven for 26 minutes. That's so random, I know, but trial and error, I found 26 works great. And then it comes out so yummy. I love this dinner. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to check out my website. I have a ab meal plan on there as well as a law of attraction plan. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.